I chose Kentucky State University because it offered the same amenities as a larger institution would offer, but at a smaller scale. The classroom settings were 18 to 1, so that allowed me to have a more personal relationship with my professors and my peers. I'm truly proud of the experience that I've gained at KSU because it allowed me to be where I'm at today. Now, today, I work for LG and KU Energy, where I am the Associate Community Relations Specialist in the Division of Corporate Responsibility and Community Affairs. You've just met Lee Artis Allen, one of KSU's recent graduates. Certainly, he's the kind of student that we're interested in employing here at LG&E and KU. I'm Mary Evan Sias, president of Kentucky State University. What you've just seen is an example of one of our students who had some developmental needs when he started, who came to Kentucky State University and succeeded beyond his wildest imaginations and ours as well. But he's just one of more than 2,700 students here on campus that we work with daily Students who have come to fulfill their dreams. Students who sometimes come where they are not fully prepared. One of our most outstanding programs is Academics with Attitudes. This is a program where we take students who come with developmental needs and we move them in the summer through a program that allows them to come in and start earning credits. We're excited about this program because we believe this program will dramatically help us improve our retention and our graduation rates. My name is Dana Simmons and I am a 2002 graduate of Kentucky State University. When I came to Kentucky State University in 1998 as a freshman, I was enrolled in several developmental courses. I needed those courses because there were, were weaknesses or gaps in my educational foundation that needed strengthening. The supportive services provided by the Academic Center for Excellence helped me to strengthen those areas and to go on and graduate with honors in 2002. This has been a good year for Kentucky State University. Our Honda All-Star academic team came in third in the Honda All-Star competition. We bested schools like Morehouse and Spelman and Hampton and Howard, and we're extraordinarily proud that was, it was a local student, James Lawson White. My name is James Lawson White. I'm an alumnus of Kentucky State University. I graduated in 2011 and I was a member of the Honda Campus All-Star Challenge team. The Honda Campus All-Star Challenge is a trivia competition open to historically black colleges and universities from all across the U.S. The 48 best teams go to nationals in Orlando, Florida. Last year, Kentucky State University placed third out of those teams. These are exciting times for us. We've added new programs, like our environmental science program. We're working with sustainability and looking at providing green jobs and green programs for our students. We're looking at our teacher preparation program and college readiness. My name is Karen Haven, and I'm a math faculty member here at Kentucky State University. And I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to a program we have here at Kentucky State called Access to Algebra. The Access to Algebra program was designed to meet the mandates of Senate Bill 1, which required increased collaboration between the high schools and the post-secondary universities and a decrease in the number of students in need of mathematics re remediation when they enter college. But these students are working in a high school environment where they're supported by their teachers, they're supported by the schools, and they have a lot of backup where, that they, you wouldn't normally get when you're in a college environment. Um, our success rate has been very high. Uh, for students that have an ACT of greater than 22, we generally have a pass rate of C or better in college algebra course of about 85%. For students who take the college algebra course with an ACT less than 22, our pass rate runs about 60%. We are also looking at students who graduate and making sure that they're capable of being employed. Our Career Placement Center places 85% of the students who graduate in jobs as they leave here. I think this has to be one of the highest numbers, not just in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, but in this nation. This is our 125th anniversary. So 125 years ago, we started with the mission of providing access and opportunity for African Americans to become teachers. 125 years later, that is still a primary part of our mission. But we are a land-grant institution, one of 17, 18, 90 land-grant schools. We are a historically black college coming out of federal legislation 
and we are a liberal arts institution. My experience was, it was wonderful. Um, I, I left high school somewhat insecure, as most, I think, high school seniors do graduate with a little bit of insecurity. Um, I was not one to assume leadership roles, uh, things of that nature. The experiences that I had at Kentucky State University helped to gradually boost my confidence until I, I assumed many leadership roles. I was affirmed. I knew that I, that I could be successful in those roles. I began to see myself as a leader, and that was new for me. I hadn't done that before. I came to Kentucky State University to attend the Summer Academic Bridge Program, and that's why I first started my academic endeavors at KSU. I'm truly proud of the experience that I've gained at KSU because it allowed me to be where I'm at today, a proud alumnus of Kentucky State University. I love Kentucky State University, and I know you will too. Upon reflection, as I think back over my time at Kentucky State University, I would do it all over again. A large number of the students who enter KSU every fall as freshmen are students who enter with developmental needs. A large number of those students go on to be very successful students. We've spent a lot of focus on students with developmental needs. The reason we've done that is because of Senate Bill 1 and its focus on student success and college readiness. But Kentucky State University has many students who come here fully prepared for college work. Many of those students are part of our Whitney Young program. Others are simply students who graduated from high school fully prepared and who find K-State University to be their university of choice. This year, Kentucky State University is celebrating its 125th anniversary. For all of those 125 years, we've accepted students of different talents, backgrounds, and developmental needs. Regardless of their ability, however, we want all of our students to be able to think critically, to integrate knowledge, and to be able to function as global citizens. To that end, when a student enters KSU, the one thing we want more than anything else is that they enter to learn and that they go out to serve.